morning, brothers and sisters, <clears throat> and welcome to Morning Prayer. This is Wednesday, the 32nd week in Ordinary Time. Our morning prayer begins on page 292. Let's join together in prayer. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Each day, O Lord, is a gift of your grace. Your mercies are new every morning. Guide our steps by the light of your word. Shield us from harm and keep us from evil. The night is past and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Faithful and steadfast God, nourish your people in this wicked world. And through prayer and the scriptures, give us our daily bread. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our hymn for this morning's prayer is hymn number 7 on page 726. At thy feet, O Christ, we lay thine own gift of this new day. Doubt of what it holds in store makes us crave thine aid the more. Lest it prove time of loss, mark it, Savior, with thy cross. If it flow on calm and bright, be thyself our chief delight. If it bring unknown distress, good is still that thou canst bless. Only while its hours begin, pray we keep them clear of sin. We in part our weakness know, and in heart, heart discern our foe. Well for us, before thine eyes, all our danger open lies. Turn not from us while we plead thy compassion and our need. Fain would we thy word embrace, live each moment by thy grace. All ourselves to thee consign, fold up all our wills on thine. Think and speak and do and be, simply that which pleases thee. Hear us, Lord, and that right soon. Hear and grant the choicest boon that thy love can e'er impart, loyal singleness of heart. So shall this in all our days, Christ our Lord, show forth thy praise. Psalm 52 Why do you boast about your crimes, great warrior? Don't you realize God's justice continues forever? All day long you plot destruction. Your tongue cuts like a sharp razor. You're an expert at telling lies. You love evil more than good and lies more than truth. You love to destroy others with your words, you liar. God will strike you down once and for all. He will pull you from your home and uproot you from the land of the living. The righteous will see it and be amazed. They will laugh and say, Look what happens to mighty warriors who do not trust in God. They trust their wealth instead and grow more and more bold in their wickedness. But I am like an olive tree thriving in the house of God. I will always trust in God's unfailing love. I will praise you forever, O God, for what you have done. I will trust in your good name in the presence of your faithful people. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and only forever. Our scripture today is from the Old Testament Book of Lamentations. The faithful love of the Lord never ends. His mercies never cease. Great is his faithfulness. His mercies begin afresh each morning. I say to myself, the Lord is my inheritance. Therefore, I will hope in him. The Lord is good to those who depend on him, to those who search for him. So it is good to wait quietly for salvation from the Lord. The 
Listen to me, my faithful children, and blossom like a rose growing by a stream of water. Set out fragrance like incense, and sing a hymn of praise. Bless our God for all creation. Ascribe majesty to the name of the Most High. Give thanks with praise, with songs on your lips, and with harps. All your works are good, O God, and whatever you command will be done. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and will be forever. Amen. In the morning we call to you, O Lord, be merciful and hear our prayer. Your glory shines over all creation. Crown us with your glory. Your majesty invests us with honor. Let your favor rest upon us. Your works reflect your splendor. May your wisdom inflame all that we do. You satisfy us with your steadfast love. Keep us ever closer to your heart and mind. Bless us with strength, grace, and peace. Inspire our witness today to reveal you with each and every step. Merciful Lord, Hear our prayer today as we lift up before you, Abby, for healing following her car accident, Abba Bernard and all that he goes through. For me, O oh Lord, for my back and legs. Pray for Bishop Rob and his family to stay. We pray for Archbishop Todd as he travels this week to India to see the churches there. Pray for Bishop Rob as he travels to this weekend to Denver to visit the church there. And merciful God, help us be kind, be generous, be gracious to those around us. Help us use words of kindness, love, and peace. And help us be gentle as you are, Lord. Forgive us of our past failings through the years of ungentleness and unkindness. And help us become more like you now moving forward today. As our Savior Christ has taught us, we boldly pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Gracious God, source of all that exists, you speak to us through every aspect of your creation while still calling to each of us in the depths of our hearts. May your rooted presence in our lives help us to bear your voice this day through your word, in our prayer, and in the faces of all whom we meet. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we have beheld His glory, the glory of the Father's only begotten Son, full of grace and truth. May the glory of the Lord rest upon us, and in His peace may we be blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God's help remain with us always and with our loved ones, both near and far away. May the Lord God order our steps in his ways and ordain his peace, and may souls of the faithful departed, through the mercies of God, rest in peace. Amen.
Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, thank you for praying with me today. It's a blessing to know that we share a common faith and pray to our Lord Jesus Christ. May the Lord be with you this day. Be kind to one another. Show one another love and mercy. In fact, be Jesus to those around you in whatever you do. May God be with you this day. Amen.